Hey, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to talk a free game that you can get right now, a pretty good one at that, and it's actually very relevant right now because the following title in Serious Sam 4 will be coming up, but not right now you can get Serious Sam the first encounter for free. Also, I want to talk a little bit about the PlayStation 3 emulator and RPCS3. I don't know why Sony is incapable of creating a, you know, proficient uh, PlayStation 3 emulator, and these guys are just killing it, and now we have another major game fully playable in Heavenly Sword. 4K 60fps gameplay has been uploaded to the RPCS3 YouTube channel. Would highly recommend you to check that out. We'll talk that in just a little bit. But first of all, Serious Sam, the first encounter is free right now over on GOG. This is a DRM-free copy, so you can just download it, and it's theirs for you to own forever. This is six bucks on Steam, and obviously this is a very old-school title. It came out back in, like, I think the late 90s, but was received really, really well. Steam reception, overwhelmingly positive, 96% positive across 1,598 user reviews, 96% positive on recent reviews, 87 on Metacritic, which is pretty freaking good, all things considered. Visually, of course, it doesn't look as good as, say, a Doom Eternal, but you know what? Serious Sam 4 is on the horizon, so why not pick this up to get ready for Serious Sam 4, and especially because you can get it for free over on GOG and Serious Sam 4? Now, that does look like a modern-day first-person shooter, and that game is looking pretty amazing. That'll be coming out a month from today. Literally, it's out on September 24th, so be on the lookout for that game, but the first encounter is free right now over on GOG, so to add that to your library, I believe it'll be free for the next 36 or so hours so again check that out play it you'll probably end it up enjoying it quite a bit also want to talk a little bit about this rpcs3 emulator because my god we probably know that the playstation 5 is not gonna have playstation 3 uh backwards compatibility at this point it doesn't even seem likely that all of the playstation 4 catalog will be playable day one sony has been very iffy on talking about backwards compatibility i imagine the majority of the uh playstation 4 catalog will be playable but who knows I'm pretty much certain the PlayStation 3 uh, lineup is not going to be playable on the PlayStation 5, which is just funny to me because at this point, RPCS3 is just making an insane amount of progress, which is just like sh exposing Sony at how bad they are from a software standpoint. I love the PlayStation exclusives, but man, the fact that we can't get backwards compatibility for the PlayStation 3, and yes, I know the cell architecture was absolute a nightmare to work with, but why are these RPCS3 guys making so much progress? I know it's not absolutely perfect, but you're also talking about a team of just, you know, people that I'm sure are experienced with making stuff like this, but you're not talking about people that have the backing that a Sony would have in terms of their PlayStation infrastructure. That's just not the reality with RPCS3, but they are doing a great job getting games like Persona 5 playable, and now Heavenly Sword is playable as well. Heavenly Sword was a fantastic game, an early PlayStation 3 exclusive that was really good, often compared to uh, God of War, and this is a game by Ninja Theory, the guys that are now known for Hellblade, Sun was Sacrifice. A lot of people saw Sun was Sacrifice as a spiritual successor to this game, but this game was fantastic really short, but right now, RPCS3's YouTube channel has a video with 60 FPS gameplay at 4K, and it's running super, super smooth. Like, I'm not noticing any issues watching this gameplay. Obviously, they have a relatively high-end PC, you know, working on this game, um, a 3950X, and they, get, and they even note that the game isn't too hard to run at 30 FPS, so that shouldn't be a big deal. The fact that they're able to do this on the RPCS3 emulator and Sony just is like, nah, you want to play PlayStation 3 games? Sign up to PlayStation now, $10 a month or however much it is, and you can stream your PlayStation 3 games. Well, guess what? I got like 50 PlayStation 3 games that I would enjoy playing on my PlayStation 4, eventually PlayStation 5, and for some reason I cannot do that yet. We cannot preserve Metal Gear Solid 4 for some reason. We cannot preserve Infamous 1 and 2. We cannot preserve Ratchet and Clank Tools of destruction future crack in time i don't know why that is but sony really needs to get their act together on that standpoint because i think they're doing a lot of things right i think the fact that they have such a robust lineup of exclusives that's cool and all but why not get get it right from a software standpoint because microsoft is now offering backwards compatibility um PC just inherently has backwards compatibility since the beginning of time, so yeah, I feel like Sony really needs to step up, but RPCS3, the fact that in just a few years, this emulator has made such an insane amount of progress where we're getting premium games running at premium performance and frame rates, that's really, really cool to see, and Heavenly Sword was one of my favorite games from back in 07, so... 
you know, I still don't have this emulator installed, but at some point, if Sony doesn't introduce backwards compatibility, goddammit, I gotta play these games somehow, and I gotta be nostalgic somehow that this emulator is probably gonna be my only choice. But that's gonna conclude this video, guys. Again, Get Serious Sam, the first encounter free over on GOG, and RPCS3 continues to make significant progress with Heavenly Sword now being playable at 4K 60 FPS. If you have a pretty good PC, 30 FPS is said to be not too difficult to run. That's gonna wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video. To remedy that situation, make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting but as always guys thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out